right. Brian Newton, Golf of Your X. Here again, Spencer Reynolds, 70K. Fujikura Golf, we're here in Carlsbad. We're at HQ today. We're, we're in the dungeon in a way. Yeah, here, think of it now. The back room, and not many yeah. people can see, but That's right. we've got the new Axiom Minor shafts. Right. And we're talking a little bit of how these are created. Because yeah. there's a kind of a, a couple of interesting things about these shafts. Yeah. Uh, first off, I mean, yes, they're all graphite. It's a Spoojikuru, of course. And of course, b uh, But a little different. These are a three-step parallel set of shafts. Yeah. So now most of us don't really know what that means. What in the world is that? Mean? What is that? All right. <laughs> all right. Well, you touched on one part of this. Uh, so the DNA of this shaft is really b technology. That's a, you know, that's a full-length sort of combination of high tonnage materials. Essentially what they do is create a very, very stable platform for us to build a bend profile off, of, right? So we know that the guts of this product are very, very stable, very, very uh, consistent. And these are things that we learned by integrating that technology with wood line, and now we sort of brought it over iron. So it is created in a very much the same way that a wood shaft be created, right? Everything starts out with, with sheets and, and ply layouts and mandrels and all those things, but everything is kind of tweaked a little bit differently for iron. So the different type of build. So while sort of the nuts and bolts are the same. What's different is we start to look at things like three-part parallel systems. Yep. Uh, we have extremely accelerated taper in, in the design. You know, I brought out a couple of mantles just for you to see. I mean, this is what you would traditionally see for a wood shaft, right? And this little ground, you start to wrap the graphite plies and eventually this is pulled out of your left with a hollow tube. That's right. We can see when you move in an iron just how much thinner that is and strange acceleration there is in that taper rate. So everything becomes a little bit different. That means that when these are being rolled and being produced and everything we do is done by hand, that the thinner the man will get, the more you can put pressure on it. It's a very intricate design, but we found it's the best for ultimate performance. Now, we talk about the parallel system. Traditionally, when you look at some of the shafts that we've even produced in the past, you're talking about a two iron leg. That two iron leg is a single piece and you're gonna butt trim and tip trim as you get shorter into the set. The only issue with that is, you're starting to lose a lot of material as we get to the shorter irons. So we have to have a material that is strong enough and performance driven enough that works really well in the long irons, but we have to know that the short irons have to work without it as well. So when we go into a three-part parallel system, what that does is it gives us the ability to tip minimal amounts within each set. So a long parallel is really just built for the two, three, and four iron. The mid is five, six, and seven. The short is eight iron wedge and they'll be tipped minimal amounts in each set. As you get to about a one inch tip with the shortest of each section, you start over straight in, half inch, one inch straight in. And what that does is gives us the ability to really push premium materials closer to the tip of the shaft. And that gives us even more stability and consistency because we know we're not even going to lose too much down the tier. Yeah, and then you did mention everything hand rolled. So yeah. I think a lot of misconception about shafts as well is, you know, if they're not, you know, specifically told that they're just put on a machine and everything is done. Exactly. Yeah. Every one of these, whether we're here in the kind of prototype area yeah. uh, that you guys have or at the actual production facility, these are all hand rolled. Yeah, and the cool thing about our production facility here at Carlsbad is it is an exact replica of what we see at our, at our factories. It's just minimized to be one rolling station instead of a long series of rolling stations, but same process in everything. That's pretty odd. And like I said, a lot of expensive material here, Very nice. uh, and which is why you kind of did that three-part system. Yeah. Uh, and get a little bit, you know, pitch, ton, a little explanation about kind of what those things mean. Yeah, so when you look at tonnages of, of, of graphic material, essentially what you're talking about is the strength of the overall material. Now, sometimes as those tonnages can increase, you can also increase brittleness, which is something you do not want to shout. We don't want things to double or not. So we kind of like to walk that line on the highest tonnage materials that we can use with minimum resin content, maximum fiber content so we want that to be very very stable and not be too brittle at the same time so that's kind of what velo core is it's a blend of materials about high tonnage pitch and some other lower tonnage and intermediate mods to basically give you this kind of bacon and cake recipe having the most stable platform that you can and that's really the same system that we use in our ventus and ventus tr lines this is the first time we've taken a tech and moved it to a different family We've had some text carry over with our wood line, you know, from generation to generation. We, this is the first time we've sort of taken that off, putting it in a different category altogether. And so we're really adamant about the fact that if we put VeloCore on there, it has to give golfers the same benefits they saw in the woods or we're not going to do it. it. Took some time, but we did it right and it's great. Yeah, no, it really does. So, uh, yeah, Axiom, FuchikuraGolf.com. Go find your local dealer. Yeah. Go hit them. I love them. I mean, they're extremely good. I uh, can't wait to go hit some more. Yeah, well, it's more been a while, but... Uh, Puchagrigolf.com, turn in your local fitter, go hit them, go get fit. And uh, Axiom. I love it. We're cool. Thanks for hanging.